الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي أنزل على أبيه الكتاب وأحلم يجع الله يواجه أبدوه سبحانه وتعالى وأشكره وهو أهل حمد وثناء وأشهد أن لا إله إلا وده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد نبيه رسول ومصطفى اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah Almighty always for every opportunity. And the whole purpose of our everyday waking up is to wake up to another day that we can see the glory of Allah Almighty in ourselves. And when we're able to see that, we bear witness to our own truth, our own existence. When we bear witness to our own existence, and we show gratitude to Allah Almighty for bringing us from being hidden to be seen in existence, that in itself should give us the vitality that we need in order to be stable and to be on a permanent way of life. As human beings, like nature, we change in the seasons, winter, spring, summer, fall, and we think that we are our seasons. In the winter time, we think that we are winter. In the summertime, we think that uh, we are summer. In the fall, we think we are fall. In the spring, we think we are spring. And that is the extent of us knowing our being. Allah has given us the given us sight, a sense of sight. Allah has given us the sense of smell, of taste, and of hearing. But it's limited in terms of what we hear to be able to define ourselves through just what we hear, or just what we see, or what we can smell or taste. Allah Almighty, in his wondrous, elaborate will, sent 124,000 people, and all we have to do is study history. When we study history, history sharpens your mind. All you have to do is study the not just the religious history, but when you study the history of nations, what you're going to find that in every nation, there was always someone that Allah Almighty raised up in that nation to be able to stabilize the people and give them a permanent way of life. Because as long as our desires are keeping us away from who we are, we have desires of, 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 for food, we have uh, desires for fun, we have all kinds of desires. But these desires are they come and they go, but we are still present. We are still present. And Allah Almighty wants us to see that regardless of what else goes on in the way, in the scheme of everything, there is a will, a divine will 
that is directing us someplace. If we study through all through history, all the different nations of people that have come and gone, the sun that rises in the east and sets in the west has seen it all. It is the same sun that comes up, goes down, it comes up, it goes down, it shines. It has done what it was created to do. It is in total submission. And they say that it's 93 million miles from the earth, La knows best. But it does not burn up the earth and the earth does not freeze. It is place exactly where it needs to be, even through all the seasons that we have the winter, we have the spring, the summer, the fall. That is the way Allah Almighty's, uh, that's the way his essence is in us. Regardless of what is going on in our life, that stability should always be there to keep us in a permanent way of life. You see the faces of people, they're so stressed out. I don't have this, I don't have that. I can't do this, I can't do that. He said, she said, I can't do it because they had me doing something. It's crazy. We've been lost our minds. Because we're thinking through our desires. We are, de we are defining ourselves through our desires. Don't you know one of the most read books is the dictionary? Everybody wants a definition. What is the definition of this word? Okay, okay. Then what's the definition of that word? Okay. And then so they have a false sense that now they know. Then you have all these powerful beings and everyone living through their desires. Then what you see in a society is chaos. You see wars, you see quarreling, you see pestilence, you see disease, you see unhappiness, you see poverty, unnecessary struggling. When Allah Almighty sent those prophets, especially the seal of the prophets, may Allah be pleased with him, he came in a turbulent time. They always, Allah Almighty, always send those servants in a very turbulent time when everything is just, everybody is so frantic, so unhappy, so and lacking understanding of themselves. They're doing anything. They're doing drugs, promiscuous behavior, all kinds of abominations because they're following their desires. The desires of the society, they're just following what they're following, anything. With no stability. With no consciousness. We use less than 10% of our brain power, less than 25% of our physical power, none of our spiritual power. Yet we are building lofty buildings, we're driving cars, Flying, how much intelligence does it take to drive a car? They showed monkeys, the monkeys can drive cars. We're not using anything of our capacity, of our power. And yet we call ourselves righteous people running into mosques, churches and synagogues, calling ourselves righteous. Same righteous people Leave out the church, the city God, go to mosque, and get a 40 ounce. Hit some herb, hit some dope, do something promiscuous. But they are righteous people. 